from Thessaloniki. Uh, I followed the, the coast towards Athens. And then I'm now cutting inland and now heading towards Meteora. currently 11 o'clock and I've been riding all day uh, just shy I've covered about 240 kilometers now and I'm gonna head to Meteora and I'm gonna camp up there and then be surprised by a lovely view in the morning it's been a big push to get here a bit of a headwind um, towards the end yeah, I think it'll be worth it for the waking up there tomorrow. Meteora uh, this morning. Spent a bit of time just uh, exploring the area and looking at some of the monasteries. But uh, yeah, stunning place. Um, bit of background behind it is that apparently the, there was a war between the Titans and the Olympian gods, which created the, the impressive rock formations um, or the other theory is that it was once a seabed and um, something to do with geology but uh, I'm now climbing lots of um, a big mountain pass to get over today and then kind of rolling um, down to the coast and where I'm gonna get the ferry across to Italy um, but I might head across to Corfu and spend a day just chilling on a beach and then get over to Italy because then I have about 500 miles 
to do um, in the bottom of Italy before getting the ferry over to Sardinia. Um, so I'm making good time at the minute, making good progress. But yeah, it's good to be riding the bike. I'm looking forward to getting over to the top of this hill. Uh, well, not hill, mountain. And then it'll feel like I've uh, done the, the majority of, of Greece and I'll be downhill to the, the coast then. I've gone over the big pass and I've descended down and now climbing a little bit again. But I've just spent ages emptying all my bags and emptying all the contents out onto the road to try and find the salt tablets that I bought the other day in Bulgaria. Um, and I can't find them anywhere. They were in, in my rear rucksack. Um, and it doesn't matter that much. Um, but for some reason, it's really annoying me. I think I'm just tired and probably in need of some salt tablets. Yeah, it's about 60 miles now to the port uh, where I'm crossing over to Corfu and Italy. It's not very far. I'm not sure if I'll get it done today, probably not. But I'll get I'll get a fair chunk still done. Yeah, I might need to stop for some food soon. I wonder when I'm going to learn to not trust a Kamut shortcut. Uh, so I don't think it's too big a distance on this on this path, but uh, yeah, it's 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 not really rideable. Loads of stones everywhere. Um, 
So I've taken my cycling shoes off and got my flip-flops, well, Bulgarian sliders on. Uh, yeah, it should be about 30k from the ferry port, and then I've got a decision to make whether to go across to Corfu and spend a bit of time there, or just head straight across to Italy. Uh, I've had a, look, a brief look at some of the, the ferries that I was going to take, and some of, them, some of them are a bit inconsistent in um, their times. Some of them are only like once a week, which might uh, throw a spanner in the works for getting across to Barcelona in time. Uh, so I might have to explore a different route and figure out how I'm going to um, ferry hop from Italy to Sardinia to um, over to Spain. But yeah, we'll see. I've made it back to the road. I'm very dehydrated. Uh, looking, really looking forward to a cold coke. And uh, yeah, but proud of myself for doing that. Uh, should have gone the long way around, as usual, um, which happens to be uh, the usual case with the shortcuts I take. But uh, yeah, 